What's going on guys? Welcome back to Tactical Talks. So this video is going to be a little bit different. Obviously, as you can tell, I'm in my truck. I'm out running errands today. Had a lot of stuff going on and I wasn't able to record the video that I wanted to record for this week. However, I've had this idea of wanting to talk to you guys and wanting to ask your guys opinion on a lot of things. Tactical Talks is just that. It's about the tactical community, whether it's gun community, knife community, whatever you are involved in getting together and sharing ideas and sharing knowledge and that's kind of what i wanted to do with this segment on this channel first off i want to say thank you to all you guys because yesterday we hit 1,000 subscribers which is kind of a big deal for my channel with as small as it is so i want to say thank you to everyone there is a huge giveaway coming soon so be on the lookout for that so as far as this video what i wanted to do was get your guys input now there's two youtubers that I kind of want to get their input on, but I'm putting it, this out there for all of my subscribers. Um, there's two of my subscribers for sure that I follow. I watch their videos and they're, they're two very opinionated people and I like hearing their perspective because they have a different perspective than what I have. One of which being Uncle Dan. So shout out to Uncle Dan, shooting with Uncle Dan. Um, go check out his YouTube channel. He's from Texas, he's a Texan as well. So he knows a lot about you know gun laws and, and second amendment stuff here in Texas where I am but he's older than I am so he's got a lot more experience and knowledge in some of the stuff and uh, I love watching his channel I love hearing his input so Uncle Dan this is kind of going out to you and the second is going to be to my boy Aunt Diesel out in Alaska Aunt Diesel is a person you know what I mean like he's not afraid to speak his mind he puts his information out there you either like it or you hate it he doesn't carry the way his opinion is his opinion. He doesn't try to conform for anybody else. So that's what I really like about him. And he's putting out a lot of really good content. Um, he always has been, but he's been upping the amount of content that he's been putting out. So go check out Ant Diesel. Um, and kind of the question that I had for you guys is, as a lot of you know, there's different sections or different groups in the tactical community or in the gun community. In the gun community, you have your your Glock guys, which I'm a, I'm a huge Glock guy. And then you have your 1911 guys, or you have your Smith & Wesson guys, or your Revolver guys. You know, it's all kind of broken down. And then outside of that, you have like your AR-15 guys, your AK guys, and, and there's a lot of people like myself who has a little bit of all of these guns, but some people only focus on or only really care about one type of gun. I was having a conversation with a friend of mine the other day and we were talking about pistols and he says yeah I carry a pistol on me and we started talking about everyday carry and he was asking me what I carry and I said well 90% of the time as you guys know who watch my channel I carry a Glock 43 on me I got an extra magazine I got Terran Tactical mag extensions on there so I try to up the amount of ammo that I carry with me but I like having a smaller package as far as the gun is concerned and still have a decent sized round. So I carry that Glock 43 on me. Well, he said it doesn't really matter because his, his personal opinion was a pistol is only good to get you to your rifle. And I started thinking about that and he says, I keep a rifle in my truck at all times. And I said, well, yeah, me too. I have either my sub 2000 that I keep in my truck or I have my AR pistol, which is still um, 223 or 556. Five, it's just a smaller compact you know, weapon that I can still fire at a further distance in my pistol. So he says, yeah, all I really care with my pistol is I can put enough rounds down range to make it back to my truck and get my rifle. And that's when the fight actually starts. And I was kind of torn because I agree in a sense. Now, part of me, obviously I would rather have the superior weapon and I would rather have a rifle in any fight. You know, whether, it, whether the person has a pistol or they have a rifle, the key to a lot of these situations is to outgun the gunner. So if he's got a, a pistol, I want the rifle. I want to outgun him. I want to have bigger and better options. So I can agree with that, but at the same time, I'm not always near my truck. I don't like leaving a rifle or, you know, my carbines, any of my pistols, whatever it is, I don't like leaving those in my vehicle I do secure them in my vehicle, they're locked in my vehicle, and I'll show you guys in a different video how I do that. That was kind of going to be a, a part one of, of a two segment deal on how I lock my, my uh, rifle in my vehicle.
but I don't like just leaving it in my vehicle all the time. So even though that I agree with that in a sense, I can't always get to my truck. So I don't want to rely on or have the mindset of, well, I only have this gun to get to my rifle. So what do you guys think of that? I want to open up a discussion. I want to do this maybe like once a month, kind of pose questions to you guys, get your guys' opinion. Like I've stated before in a lot of my videos and I will continue to state it, I'm not an expert by any means. I make these videos, one, because it's fun for me to do. I enjoy doing this. Whatever little, little knowledge that I've picked up over the years, whether it be military training, police training, just personal experiences, I like spreading that knowledge um, to you guys because I know that most criminals aren't out here watching Tactical Talks videos. It's, it's just, it is what it is. So I like putting that information out there to you guys so everyone has a better understanding of my mindset, why I do some of the things that I do. And at the same time, I enjoy watching your guys' videos and gaining knowledge from y'all because there's a lot of things that I don't know or a lot of things that I look at one track minded. So I like getting everybody's outside perspective on how other things are done, how you do things, whether it's a different state, um, different upbringing, different career choices, whatever it is, I like getting your guys' opinion on it. So that's my question to you guys. How do you guys feel about the mindset of a pistol is only to get you to your rifle? I mean, I agree in a sense, I'd rather have the rifle, but I'm not gonna carry a rifle with me every day, all day, the way I carry a pistol with me every day, all day. When I'm out cutting my grass, I got a pistol on me. When I'm in the gym, I have a pistol on me. I mean, I practice with my pistol to a point to where I'm fully comfortable utilizing that pistol just in case a situation were to come up where I have to use that as a deadly force option. I know I can use that pistol. I'm not just using it to distract somebody or to buy myself some time just to get to the rifle. So let me know what you guys think of that. Again, shout out to Shooting With Uncle Dan. Go check out his channel and uh, Aunt Diesel. I'm gonna leave both of their channels linked down below. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you on the next one.